The Real Estate Photography Podcast is brought to you by TourBuzz.net, high-definition virtual tour and photograph hosting, now with interactive floor plans. Sign up for your free trial today. Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Photography Podcast with Mike Mariello. This is episode 123, a post-production tip about screening in a television set. So basically uh, what you can see is this photo here of a nice outdoor bar, um, but what your eye doesn't immediately go to is in the upper left-hand corner, which is a kind of a built-in TV set. So what we want to do is we want to put that sports image on that TV. It's uh, not a very complicated task, um, but I should first say this isn't for um, for every house that you do. It's not always a good idea to put a big old image in a you know a, a television set that's going to be moving out of there anyway. Um, typically, it's for bed and breakfasts, hotels, built-ins like this. Um, maybe it's built into the wall or on top of a certain fireplace that really brings something together. But it's not for every TV you see, so don't. I would recommend not to overuse the effect. Anyway, you, this is just an image I took. I took it, and I, I I took it. I say I took it because you shouldn't just cruise through Google Images and uh, pick one. That's not really right, from what I understand. So, use an image that you already have. Sports image typically works out well. What you do is go ahead and turn it into a smart object. In case when you you do all this transforming. Uh, when you do it, you don't lose any any data. So what I, I did was shrink it down to the size it should be. Go ahead and go into transform. What you can do is mostly transforming perspective. Um, pretty simple here. This is straightforward. We're gonna bring it down to about there, and the whole point. It's gonna look weird at first. It really will. There's there's no denying that. Um, this is all approximations at first, and that looks about right. And I'm looking on my left, uh, left hand side and the top side. And go ahead and hit enter. Computer runs slow when I do these recordings. Now this is for you. Bring the opacity way down. This is just so you can see your edges. Now you can do Apple T or Control T in this free transform. This will help you kind of size it up a little bit better. It does keep everything the way it should be at first and now I'm doing this uh, this edge over here on the right so I'm oh you're always going for for one ed so you do one one edge at a time now this one's not correct anymore so go ahead and hit enter what you can do is go to edit uh, skew skew down here should allow you to bring that edge down a bit well without distorting everything um, too too much. Okay, everything is well. Not this edge isn't too isn't quite right. Um, but there's not a lot of distortion. So what you can then do is we're using Edit Transform a lot. Is this tool which is phenomenal? We're gonna no. Would you just use warp? Now that everything's pretty close to where it should be, you can warp the heck out of this thing to push it into the edges that it needs to be. Um, so as you can see, it it just kind of works out pretty well okay uh, rough again bear with me here I'm really bad at multitasking but if you were to go ahead and bring up the opacity it doesn't look quite right it it looks fake which it is so what you gotta do is change your blend mode to screen and blending mode to screen is kinda letting that natural glare that was caught in the picture stay there then what you do is bring your opacity down to about maybe 60 some percent is that what? yeah 60 some percent it doesn't look so fake anymore so uh, yeah that's that's the quick and dirty way to do it um, I would more than likely put a lot more care and attention to it while I was going through it and line all the edges up perfectly but that's pretty much it it's just playing around the transform uh, first getting your perspective right then uh, fitting your corners then changing the blend mode once again here's normal it looks like a Best Buy ad, and then here is screened, which allows you to maintain the glare, as you can see that's on the edge here, of uh, the, the the rim of the TV, and that maintains it all the way through. So, that's it. It's really simple, and like I said, I wouldn't do it for everything, but it is a really neat effect to have, and, and you can do whatever you want with it. Alright, well, uh, thanks for listening, and have a good one. <laughs>